origins from Cantivot Palace date back from the 14th century. The actual condition of the building dates from 1694, when the Marquis Don Juan Sureda reformed the palace, and this is one of the outstanding characteristics of Cambivot. Both exterior and interior have been untouched since then, and it is one of the very few places we can visit today that provides us with this authenticity. The extremely well-preserved library shows us the evolution of the preferred reading languages Latin, Italian, French, English, etc. as well as the interest of the inhabitants of the palace. It was one of the first libraries designed as such in the early 18th century and a novelty in its time. The music hall, adorned with Flemish tapestries, exquisite Majorcan-style mirrors and a stunning pair of barguenos decorated with mythological paintings, is a visual treat. Every piece of furniture here carries the weight of history, dating back to the 17th century. Our journey through history continues into the weapons room, which served as a grand reception space. Adorned in celebration of Don Juan Sureda's second marriage in 1717, the room boasts Baroque-style frescoes painted by Giuseppe Dardanone, an artist from Milan who arrived in Mallorca as a prisoner of war. The larger paintings in this room are by Guilla Mesquida, a Spanish artist who lived in Venice. These works were acquired by Don Juan Sureda in 1700. The architectural scapes, on the other hand, are the creations of the renowned painter Francisco Gutierrez from Castilla, crafted around 1650. The last three rooms, known as Estrados, provide a fascinating glimpse into Spanish medieval customs. These rooms were designated for receiving friends and family, with each room named to reflect the social ranking, friendship or family ties of the guests. They served as spaces for visits and negotiations and feature exquisite paintings by Hendrik Ter Bruggen, José de Ribera and Artemisa Gentileschi. The last room was conceived as a representational space with a baldachin bed following the French model as a bedroom. However, it was never used as a bedroom, but solely served as a testimony of respect to the crown. All the rooms are clad in damask fabrics, as documented in a receipt from 1717. Cam Vivot offers a unique experience, in that it is one of the very few remaining houses in Spain that shows us an interior unaltered since the late 17th century, containing a priceless collection of art, manuscripts, objects and period decoration, which makes this a must-see in Mallorca. To visit the palace, please use the contact information at the end of this video.